here's the uh, general manager of uh, Brad of the uh, Calgary Flames, Brad Trey Living. Uh, congratulations, uh, another victory uh, on the weekend. Uh, you guys uh, step up against the uh, San Jose Sharks in a 4-3 win. Where you are in the standings, Brad, has it changed or altered your way of thinking on the second half of the season? Well, I mean, a couple of things. First of all, in, in, in one degree, no. I mean, you're where we're at in terms of building our team, you are always got the big picture in mind. Um, and so, as I've said sort of throughout the year, um, you know, the job is to look daily and try to ask the question, how do we get better? And um, so in that regard, we're, we, we look each day to see how we can make ourselves better, whether that's internally, whether that's, you know, moves from within, whether that's looking outside the organization. Um, you know, obviously, we, you, you, you want to help your team. But as I, I try to be consistent with it, I, am, I have no appetite for going and throwing a bunch of young assets out the door or giving up top picks for something that could help us for a week or two. That just, that's something that we, just, we don't have a whole lot of appetite in. But. So are you a buyer at the deadline or are you more of a Stan Pat guy? Well, I think if there's, you know, the deadline um, is a time where you can help yourself as, a, as an organization. But again, if, if there's if there's things there that we feel can help us um, now, but without a cost in terms of our future, um, then we'd look at it. You know, we're like I said, I just anything that that's going to cost a young asset um, that we feel has a chance to play for us down the road, giving up picks. Those are we're just not at that stage right now, but. If the question is, do we are we looking to do some things? Sure, you know, you're always trying to make yourself better, but we're trying to keep a long-term approach uh, in mind in anything that we do. We talked uh, just before Christmas, I guess, and you were coming out of that eight-game losing streak, and and now you look at what your January has been like. How impressed are you with the the composition of this group? I guess from a character standpoint. Yeah, you know, Scott, it's been it's been interesting. There. Uh, the one thing I said all along, even even when we were going through that, that you know a tough stretch in December, is it's a really competitive group. Um, you know that when we when we had our struggles, you know very rarely was it ever a result of lack of work or lack of try or or, or anything like that. So um, I think in in this league, is if you can work hard on a consistent basis, um, first and foremost, get some good goaltending. Um, and find a way to, 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 to score some goals, you're going to have some success. I think, you know, right now this this little stretch in January has been good. There's still some areas we can clean up. Our special teams um, is an area that, you know, continues to be a concern and, and, and an area that we got to we got to improve upon. But, um, you know, if you can get some saves and, and get some timely scoring, um, you give yourself a chance. And on on most nights, if not all nights, the group's been highly competitive, highly engaged, um, and, and the work ethic is something you never question. Brad, uh, what's the most uh, impressive aspect, I think, uh, for you in your coach, Bob Hartley? I mean, obviously you were hired. Bob was already here. Uh, anytime a general manager comes into an organization with a coach already in place, uh, I know the record speaks for itself, but what, what have you been most impressed of uh, with your head coach and what he's been able to get out of this group? Probably just that, Mark, what he's been able to get out of the, the, the group um, collectively. And I look at, you know, in a lot of cases, really, you know, pull, what he's pulled from guys individually. Um, um, I think it would be safe to say going into this year, uh, there was not a whole lot of people outside of our room that really gave this group much of a much of a chance to do anything. And as we sit here on on January the 19th, we haven't, you know, we really haven't done a whole lot other than, um, you know, stayed around the pack here. Uh, but I've just been impressed with what he's been able to drag out of this group. Um, you know, the, the energy level of Bob, the preparation that he's put into it. Uh, I think he's just, he's, he, he fits, he fits like a glove in terms of, um, you know, what this group needs. And, uh, so he's, he's been, you know, as I said early on, getting, coming in here, I, it was unusual in the sense that, you know, you, you have a pretty good, at somewhere along the way, it seems like you've had a conversation or met or talked to most everybody 
throughout the league. I just, Bob and I had never met. And uh, so it was a process of getting to know each other, um, both me, him, and him, I. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, we've developed a relationship and, um, you know, obviously I've been impressed by his work. Up front, uh, when you talk about uh, on the ice, is there a player that's overachieved from what you thought uh, they could do? And I realize that you're getting splendid production out of uh, Goudreau and Giordano and uh, the likes, but is there a player maybe down the lineup that, uh, that surprised you? Yeah, I think, I think Darren, we've, you know, that was sort of our message to come in into the season was, you know, this for us to for us to have any success, we're going to have to, it's going to have to be a collective effort. You know, and I think that's, you know, the, the, the really the fun part about being part of this team is we need everybody. You know, we're not a group that just sits here and waits for two big boys to sort of pull us along. We, you know, we need everybody. So the, as I say to our guys, how 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 great is that to be involved in a team that regardless of of role regardless of who you are you 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 are a major part of this team and we you know the engine's not going to run if we don't have every, all the cylinders in gear here so um has there been somebody low i i mean obviously sean monahan has been a guy i wouldn't say lower in the lineup but just what he's been able to do at his age in terms of um you know and i i'm not talking about the production and the points but you know you look at it as a matchup he takes the heaviest matchup each night he's playing against top players he's playing against um you know all the all the best matchup and taking heavy minutes and to do that at the ripe old age of 20 has been has been very impressive really mature mature young man um you know probably an unheralded guy is Lance Bulma um you know he i think he epitomizes a lot of what the DNA of our group is about um you know this guy it's 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 fascinating to watch on a nightly basis the punishment that he puts his body through. I mean, he blocks shots. There's there's shifts where you think that you know early on in the season you just hold your breath that he he's not going to be able to get back out there and um, he does and he very rarely misses a shift and so he really has been a guy that um, he's one of those glue type guys, a real competitive kid, um, but does all the grunt work. You know, penalty killing gets in on the four check, uh, you know, block shots, those types of things. And uh, I've been really impressed with Lance's game. We've uh, been impressed over the first 44 games, I guess is what he's played with uh, Johnny Hockey. But talk to us about, uh, or tell us about Yanni Goalie, if we can call him <laughs> that, and what he's done for you the last four games. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. He's... Uh, um, was a, had a really good year in the American League last year, um, and coming in here, I knew that he had played some games up. And even talking to talking to the staff here, um, you know, Craig Conroy and and Bob, they were they were both very high on this kid. Um, you know, they, they, they came up and 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 how he played, how he played, you know, in the in his in his I think it was a nine game stint last year. I was really impressed with him last year in the American League. Um, he's a real confident kid. Like he's, he's one of those guys who came to camp. Um, and you know, you've got, you've got two NHL goaltenders, if you will, under contract, this kid was unfazed. He, he, he was coming in to, to battle for a job, which was, was excellent, which is absolutely the right attitude. And, uh, he had probably a little bit of a tough start, um, down in the American league, you know, the first handful of games, um, and then from there on, he's been just, you know, he's been as good as anybody in that league, uh, voted an all-star in the American League. And when you sit with him, there's just, you know, I always think a big part of goaltending is is being able to give and give off that, that air of confidence to your teammates where they can look across the room or look down at the other end and say, okay, we're okay, this guy's, this guy's got it. And he really gives that to to. You know his teammates. He's a he's he's confident. You know, it's not a cockiness. It's just a you know I've got this. And uh, you know, having said all that, he's played all of three games here this year. So we want to keep it all in perspective. He's a young he's a young man, and we know how um, you know it just it takes time for goaltenders. So we're not we're not anointing him by any means right this at this point. But um, he's had an impressive impressive work, and this has been. You know, these are all road games that he's he's done it on. Um, gone into some tough buildings against some very very good teams, 
Um, so we like him. You know, it's a young guy that's uh, that's come in and, and battled away and given us a chance here the last couple of games. 